Hello starlets and welcome to the Hedge Witch Meditation to help us connect to the energy, the essence, the spirit of Willow. With the Oem Sail, we are getting into a brand new cycle of healing of this space between water and earth, liminality and magic. For myself, the Willow has always presented herself in a very priestess-like manner, residing between earth and water, and speaks to us of the deep healing available. When we connect to her energy, her spirit, as I perceive her to be, as well as the Oum energy and the lessons within. The willow energy can help us to process difficult emotions, grounding unstable responses back into the earth to be transformed, thereby alleviating many forms of personal stress. It speaks to us of the emotional body as well as the spiritual body and it highlights blockages in our auric body, also known as our energetic field, and how to unblock these and allow our natural inner rivers, as I perceive them to be, to flow once again freely. These processes often help us to find our true selves along the path of healing, reconnecting with our higher selves as well as guides or deity and other spirits around us. Often unstable emotions or blockages leave us feeling disconnected from the realm of spirit and from ourselves. And Willow, through its spiritual connection to the water, helps us to find ourselves again. As a result, it helps us with dream work and the psychic senses. All of these are renewed in the process as water is connected to our subconscious. Water is the element that connects us and without it, all life on this planet would cease to be. The Willow Priestess spoke in meditation thusly, Come child, sit with me by water's edge and dip your toes into the cool waters of the river. Let all your troubles ease and ebb from you. Through nature we are healed. Let your emotions flow and tears fall as they may. Through earth and water, we are renewed. The Oum sail is considered one of the peasant trees, which is strange to me, uh, representing the letter S, and numerologically, the number five. It is often the symbol of the ovate grade of Druidry, although other trees are also used for this grade. Willow has been associated with Monday, the activity of bees, and is often used as a honey tree. The birds associated with it are hawk and thrush. The animals associated with it are the hare and the cat. Herbs most commonly associated with it are moonwort, primrose, and mistletoe. And willow is one of the seven sacred Irish trees and is also sacred to the druids. Because willow is strongly associated with water and the moon, willow is thought to bring about healing through engaging with the rhythms of nature and the rhythms of ourselves in connection to nature. We should point out that there is different energy and different folklore and symbolism depending on the different kind of willow that we are talking about. For example, pussy willow is tied to a creation myth and interestingly enough, the practice of egg painting now associated with Easter. In one version of the Druidic story of creation, the branches of the willow tree cradled two scarlet eggs. When these eggs hatched, one formed into the sun and the other formed into the earth. This story was celebrated at the spring festival with dyed or painted eggs. After Christianity arrived in the Celtic nations, the existing Celtic practice was adapted by the church and later became the Christian celebration of Easter. A local Yorkshire custom also ties it to Easter, as well as marriage. 
A Yorkshire marriage custom involved the willow. An unmarried girl had nine attempts to throw her shoe at a willow on New Year's night or Easter. If it stayed amongst the branches, she'd marry that year. Elsewhere, young men wore willow wreaths if they'd been unlucky in courtship. So there's a few things that I want to really sort of highlight here because we've had the fact that willow is associated with hair Willow is associated with this druidic egg creation story and has this link to what is now the Christian Easter. And the painting of eggs and hairs exists very strongly all over Europe to this day, even though none of those things are particularly important to the Christian mythos. So I love the kind of naughtiness (laughs) of the pagan myth surviving um, in plain sight for people to see and and it kind of endures and we're going to see with willow in a little bit that there's this kind of secret keeper the holder of secrets the holder of memories within the branches and willow holds emotion within her branches and emotion is a hop skip and a jump away from memory if you've been with me any length of time you know that i say that memory is the lifeblood of our existence. It is the point and the purpose of life force to live, to create memory and to send that memory from the self to the higher self. I'm paraphrasing the very complicated system that I channeled one day and blew blew myself away with this kind of understanding of why we are here. And so, if Willow is the agent of the liminal, existing in a space between earth and water, which is, in my mind, between the realm of our world and the other world, as it is in Celtic mythology, water and between water and earth are considered some of the most sacred liminal spaces in which you can cross into the other world, and why you have things like sacred caves with water and sacred wells and so forth, and and swords being thrown into rivers so that they pass into the other world as a sacred offering and so on and so forth so because willow holds memory holds secrets she holds on to pagan practices towards the spring equinox and at first i wasn't sure why i was being so drawn to willow at this time of the year I wasn't sure if we should be doing something else and as usually happens you follow your intuition and the confirmation comes along later and some of this folklore was absolutely com- absolutely confirmation that this was the right choice and it reminds me of Boudicca and Andraste being associated with spring equinox for me because of the hair so it feeds into that as well and you will have access to that very soon if you don't already on patreon if you are on the correct tier so that will be an extra little bit of goodness later okay so there are also spells involving willow although it is weeping willow for the opposite effect to the one of the marriage we have just mentioned to cool off relationships into a friend status to get rid of unwanted attentions the love spell is quite in depth at a full moon snip a foot long tendril from a weeping willow and braid it with equal lengths of red and green yarn tie three knots into the braid and hang the charm in an airy room where the moon is in its last quarter on three successive nights untie the knots in privacy and silence concentrating on your desire for the emotions to go away from the other individual presumably which is a bit (laughs) interesting but we shall carry on before the new moon burn the red thread and throw the ashes to the winds uh, placing the willow and the green thread into an envelope to be put away until the spell is successful The likely difference between the energies of a spell involving willow for cooling off relationships and the one being used for romantic encouragement is because one is a weeping willow and one is a pussy willow. The pussy willow is used for love spells and divination. There are many different interpretations of willow, a plethora of folklore when it comes to this particular tree and as it is found throughout the world. 
Some of the European folklore includes to knock on wood for luck or to ward off evil is thought to originate from knocking on willow. Willow was said to be the secret keeper and by telling a willow your secrets, perhaps with a knock, they would stay safe. Trapping magic in trees is a fairly frequent motif in mythology across the world, with people regularly being turned into trees or being contained within them. One of the most famous examples of that being Merlin, Taliesin, from the Welsh mythology. For myself, this idea conjures up the idea of doors or gateways into the other world and trees performing this function. Willow being between water and earth, as we've mentioned, is certainly one of the most liminal spaces in Celtic mythology. Another indicator of the alive status of trees in folklore is a West County belief that claimed the tree walked at night following travelers through the darkness, which I kind of love. I love the idea that, that willows are like, sneaky, sneaky, stealthy, stealth, sneaky, sneaky, stealth. <laughs> Uh, willow seems particularly tied to the voice as well with the following example wind of the willows referred to the elves whispering amongst themselves in willow trees as people walk past and an irish saying claimed willows had souls that spoke through music so we have a definite tie to voice secrets whisperings connections to the other worlds and maybe hearing whispers of spirits or the gods in greek mythology uh, willow is attached to Hecate, the powerful Greek goddess of the underworld linked to the moon and the willow tree. Hecate taught sorcery and witchcraft. Helice, meaning willow, was Zeus's nurse and was also associated with water. Her priestesses used willow in their sacred water magic and witchcraft. The willow muse was called Heliconion after Helice and was sacred to poets, which kind of has that crossover with the druids with their sacred word and using their sacred word not writing things down um, and everything was repeated in story and the sacred nature um, being passed down verbally so willow being attached to both the ovates and and here in the greek mythology as as an interesting across culture reflection of one another Later, Willow becomes as associated with sadness and mourning and grief and death. During the Middle Ages, the Willow became a traditional motif adorning tombs, and by the early 19th century, graveyards throughout the world were decorated with the Willow emblem. Here, there is this kind of connection to this sadness, this grieving and death, and I do wonder if that is kind of an evolution of its close quarters to the other world. So as sort of Christianity comes in and there is a removal of the idea of spirits and psychopomps and connecting to the spirits in the afterlife and things of that nature, which was more prevalent in pagan culture, uh, that this tendency to kind of shift some of the motifs over and instead of it being the spirit world and the realm of gods it became the realm of, of death um, there were those close links there anyway um, and so it became tied to gravestones and sadness and things of that nature actually willow is one of the natural healers of the world one of the most used trees in traditional herbalism because its bark contains salic acid a natural aspirin the archetype of healer is one completely ingrained in my psyche for Willow since the earliest days of interacting with the Oem. When meditating with Sail, Willow, the spirit response was immediate. I was quickly at a lake surrounded by trees, the real Avalon, and I could feel water pouring out of my body to remove illness and heaviness, particularly out of my ears. Common themes that have presented themselves for the energetic nexus of the Oem Sail and for Willow therefore include willow as connected to healer goddess energy healing wells and the goddess of enchantment such as hecate willow as communicator across worlds and liminal spaces particularly in supporting the grieving willow as healer or priestess willow as keeper of secrets having access to hidden emotional memories particularly of the magical arts willow as healer and inspirational connection to the realm of voice in sacred poetry and through the healing breath 
So together we are going to walk the spiral path of Willow, discovering more secrets, discovering more medicine, discovering more hedge witchery as we walk the spiral path i'm already a little bit blown away by the fact there is a spring equinox connection which i wasn't fully i don't know if i was fully aware of it if i'd heard of it before but it ha hadn't clicked into my mind as strongly so now that it has i'm quite excited by that especially seeing as there is crossover between the painting of eggs and willow so that's really exciting and that kind of bringing in some of the healing with the the egg magic maybe as we walk the spiral path towards the equinox and bring back life in the land so i hope you guys enjoyed this video connecting us in the beginning to willow many blessings and i'll talk to you very soon